Welcome Capricorn. Okay, so we are going to look at the next two weeks for you and what is going on and what Spirit wants you to know and how we can help you through that. Okay, so we're starting with the Enchanted Map and we're going to be clarifying with the Gilded Tarot. I changed it up. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look here. First off, we have Spark. Okay. <sighs> See, Capricorn, the first thing that's jumping out to me here is the heart. The heart coming down here and then turning into blood, right? And interesting thing is it's not around the heart area. It's actually around the throat area. And then it turns into a heart again. So I kind of wonder if you need to express yourself. Um, could be past hurts, could be any pain that you're, you're feeling right now. Um, but it's like, it's, it's not necessarily a matter of sitting down and talking about it if that's not what you are comfortable with, Capricorn. It, it, it might be that you express it through music or dance or art painting something creative to help you um, express what it is that you are feeling okay because I feel like it's just you could even find that you're having some throat problems and um, and it's like no matter what you do uh, to clear it up it just won't clear up and it could very well be that you know there's this emotion in here that um is stuck you know so yeah but let's have a look at what else comes out here okay there we go okay yeah so you're feeling shut out you're feeling like there's no um <clears throat> no option no help maybe um feeling as though it's kind of like you feel like you're left with nothing or you feel like you're alone um it, it, that's the sense i'm getting anyway and i do want to say about this that it it's temporary it's not it's not forever okay um it could be you know this is pentacles so it could be financial but um I do feel like it's as though you're looking in the wrong place for assistance. Maybe you're looking in the wrong place for help or there's this narrow focus and you're not actually seeing what is around you. Okay, we also have <clears throat> the Hierophant here. And this is, this is someone who is, you know, could assist you right this is someone who could give you guidance so this may very well be this could be the ending of a relationship maybe um you know the ending of a marriage for some of you it could even be a business that has fallen apart but let's have a look stormfields Sorry, let me just show you this here. You may have lost your home. For some of you, you may have lost your home. But it feels as though what you considered home, it's like it's been torn to shreds in a sense. And maybe you didn't see this coming. And I feel like there's a path that can lead you away from this chaos and this nightmare. And um, not everything, you know, is known on this path or can be seen. But just with the black and white path, it, it reminds me of a kitchen floor. And it's like I, I'm getting the sense that something's not quite, quite real or it feels surreal. Maybe that's the case, Capricorn. Maybe it feels surreal for you. 
but it's also like the path is clear. Even though there's some parts of the path that you can't see until you get closer to it, but the path is clear, the, the way out is clear, but it's just like you're not looking in the right place. We've got Ten of Cups down the bottom there. Just saying. Anyway, maybe this is where the path is leading to, right? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Look at this. This burden of carrying this all by yourself. Um, but I do want to say that this is the Ten, right? So this is this is done. This no longer has to be carried. It's kind of like there's no more together. There's no more burden to be hang on a minute I need to go pick that up from across the room hang on get record yeah what was I saying there's no more wands to be collected because they have all been collected and it's kind of like you know that is to me representing that there is no um there's no more need to carry this burden you can put those wands down now because it's kind of like The, the the place that you can um that you're taking them to is near if you like okay we have the five of wands this is the card that went flying across the room um and it's very interesting that the five has come after the ten so let me just get the sense of this here Capricorn rather than spouting off and it's not because I, I feel like there's some message here it's 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 as though there's this burden of this I want to say fighting but it's more pettiness I don't really feel like it's 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 a bit like debating maybe Because these guys aren't really fighting. It's like they're they're in training. You know, they're no one's hurting the other. It's not like the five of swords. Which is interesting because when I said before that the path doesn't seem real, there's something not quite real. Um, so I just wonder if maybe this has happened at, but it's still going over and over and over in your mind maybe the storm fields are your mind and I don't mean that in a cruel way like I mean you know we all kind of do that sometimes we replay things over and over when an outcome has been quite um painful you know, sometimes we do that. Making a choice. Okay, so making a choice. See, I feel like this is your mind here, Capricorn, which is super interesting because I've never got that out of this card before. And I do have to say, I do love getting new messages out of the cards. I feel like this is <clears throat> being in two minds, right? Being in two minds. You can either be in this mind here or you can be in this mind here. Which will you choose? Because you have the option. Both doors are open. But it's up to you to make that choice as to which, which door you choose to walk through. And in a sense, it's kind of the same as this though. See, here's a, maybe another message coming in or not. You can choose which way on the path are you walking here. Are you walking towards the storm or are you walking away from it right because these cards placed down here let me show you this guy's walking away from this okay he's not engaging <clears throat> he is walking away from it see my throat <clears> just grab my drink <clears throat> so Capricorn in that regard this is, you know, this is a choice that you can make. 
which way are you going to go? The other thing is that with these laid out on the table, this guy here with this burden is walking towards the Hierophant here. So, you know, this could be getting guidance. Like, hey, mate, which way do I need to go? Can you help me with my wands here? Because they're really heavy, you know. Also, he could put some of these wands down. He doesn't have to carry them all at once, all by himself, right? He could, he could take two by two or, you know, even half of them with him, right? So maybe... That's the battle. Maybe the battle is putting half of those down, you know, because here's the five here, right? Um, so that could be something that you could look at here. Um, but making a choice. Tell me more about making a choice for Capricorn, please. What more do you want Capricorn to know about this? Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Very very cool. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just being drawn to the mum and the child here in this um, Five of Cups. So this could very well be um, relating to a child and a parent. Okay, which one you are, it doesn't really matter. Okay, try not to put too much weight on the gender here. Okay, um, but with the Page of Cups... I feel like, you know, there's going to be Sorry, just bear with me here <clears throat> So I went to go on one track and it's like I've been stopped So this could be to do with making this choice here It's like I've just been stopped in my tracks And it's like, okay and that's exactly what this card is depicting. It's like, okay, which way do I go? But I'm also feeling quite um, like there's nothing. You know, it's it's this, it's kind of like this page here, standing here with this cup going, okay, well, what do I do with this then? Now I have this cup here. What am I going to do with it? He knows he has to hold it, but he's like, well, it's almost pointless now. That's what it feels like. The Queen of Wands. <clears throat> See, she has this wand back here, which is not the wand she's holding. Right? And... Storm clouds are behind her. I want one more card here because I know there's more to it. And it's not the traditional meanings. There's something here. Because he's this page is looking towards the queen like I've got this cup here. I've got this cup here. What am I going to do with it? And she's standing there like... I've got my wand here, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, there's a mismatch, there's, there's something that's not gelling, there's something that's not gelling. Um, and then the hermit has popped out, so maybe it's a matter of you taking some time out to make a choice, you know, this could be a choice as to which direction you want to go in you know do you is it is it that you know you're going to focus on this cup here and um you know like go down that track of like okay I've got this cup now I need to work out what to do with it and what to fill it with or are you going to go down this track of finding something that ignites your passion and going down that track but whatever you do <clears throat> It needs to be at from your internal guidance system. For some of you, whatever choice you make, it's maybe to do with two other people in your life. Okay, and it might be that you actually need to listen 
to your own internal guidance system because there could be um, one person saying let's go this way the other person saying let's go this way uh, because he's see now that I'm holding them up like that he's facing away from her so it's kind of like you need to make this choice from your own internal guidance system right use your own inner wisdom for that yeah that was tricky we got there i think though heal the ouch yep see this is directly underneath the spark yeah okay so the spark is what sparks this on fire right so this is what is that passion what is your um your love you know what is it that sets you on fire here capricorn because that is going to help you heal this ouch and that is what you can fill the cup with there we go <laughs> we just were missing we were just missing this card <laughs> um yeah so that's going to help you to heal that ouch okay um and maybe getting some professional help as well if you need it or some guidance a life coach anything you know that depending on your circumstances that will help you to heal whatever it is you need to heal capricorn okay so this could already be no there's like five cards there um, this could also be something that you have gone through and you have been doing the healing. Okay, um, so you could be in the middle of this, right? So let's just have a look. Here we go. What is this card here? The King of Wands showing up with the Queen of Wands. Very interesting. See, it's like... With this Five of Pentacles here, this could very well be about wanting to set out on your own and start um, something that is yours, okay? Especially with that spark, we also have the Five of Swords, see? Now, this is what I was saying before. It's not the Five of Swords, but here we have the Five of Swords, yeah? And um, this is deceit, man, like... Just wondering if this is something that the King of Wands has caused because I'm kind of like seeing this sitting here like this and I just wonder if some of you have been deceived and this is what the heal that ouch is, whether that's in a relationship or, um, and again, it doesn't matter about the gender, okay? Um, but yeah, whether it's in a relationship or in a business um it could be that this is what has caused this ouch, this bleeding heart, and you haven't been able to voice it or you haven't been able to express it, okay? And whatever it is that, um, I want to say this, Capricorn, whatever it is that you use to express that is what sets this, this um, sparks, this passion here and sets that on fire, compass, this is your internal compass here, your internal guidance system, I feel. Um, <clears throat> some of you may feel, feel like you're treading <clears throat> foreign ground. Um, you're, you're, it's a bit like a fish out of water type of thing, you know. And here we have, yeah, oh, I thought those were going to fall then, um, which is interesting because normally in traditional tarot, there's usually a fish in this cup, right? And that's, you know, whether the cup has water in it or not, who knows? But it's kind of like, and then the king of, of cups has turned up here. So, you know, it's it's really, um, this this new journey, it's like you've got, you've got a new journey that you're starting because remember, We've had this ending of the journey with the wands here, right? And this could even be a new journey in a relationship. It could be with someone who who has that King of Cups energy, really warm and thoughtful and kind and caring and loving, okay? But it could be you heading towards this energy 
of, of, of filling in that cup so that you know what's in it. But it really is about using, because you have this, you have this guidance system here. You're not really starting blind, okay? But it really is about making this leap of faith and using that internal guidance system, not letting past hurts um, put you off from something that could be completely and utterly amazing. Wizard of Awareness. Yep. Using, using that wisdom that you hold inside. Because I feel as though some of you may have closed that down. Okay. And because of the Ten of Cups again. At the bottom like hasn't jumped out but it's still at the bottom this is underlying right this is what you this is yeah anyway <laughs> this is you know something that is i think that you want um but you are afraid because you've been in this position before Yeah, see, this is so interesting because I do have to say that the Wizard of Awareness does remind me of the Three of Pentacles having popped out here. This is super, super interesting, right? So this is you putting in the effort. This is you going within, bringing this internal wisdom to guide you and, um, and you're going to have success from that, yeah? And, you know... Like I say, some of you may already have done that um, or be in the middle of doing that, you know. But I feel like right now there's just... Um, <clears throat> maybe a bit more, you know, this could even be Capricorn telling someone how you feel. Someone new, you know. Let's have a look. Anything else for Wizard of Awareness? Yes. The moon... Everything is not clear, right? Not everything is revealed, okay? There are unseen things, okay? And I think that's what scares you. A little bit like with the storm fields, this path here, it's not all revealed. And it's the same when you're walking down a path at night and, you know, there's the shadows over here and it's like, it might be a full moon, but it's still like, oh, I don't know what's there, like I'm scared. Um, so I think that that, it's, it's kind of a natural fear, realistically. It's fear of that unknown, but it's um it's a natural fear. And I feel like for some of you, it could be that, and like I say, this could be in any area of your life. It doesn't have to be a new relationship. It could be a new job, a new business. You could be looking at studying something, anything, okay? So yeah, just apply it as you will. Um, But yeah, it's it's this fear of, am I doing the right thing? Am I making the right choice? Well, you tap into here and you listen to this. What, is your, what does your intuition say? What does your gut say? And that's what you go with. Because there could be people around you telling you, what are you doing? What are you doing that for? Like, you know, um, you've got this home. You've got this home here. Why would you, you know, walk away from that? Or why would you, you know, risk that in a sense? But you know when your heart of hearts that this is your passion yeah so anyway wishing well wishing well okay making the wish what would you put in the wishing well if if you could guarantee capricorn that you could place your wish in this wishing well and it will pop up and come true what would you wish for like ask yourself that what would you wish for and be very, very, very clear on that. Very clear. So it doesn't come out in some gobbledygook because you're not, you're like umming and harring and oh yeah, maybe I want this or maybe I want that, you know. Um, be very clear and set your intention with precision, you know, so that you, you, you know what you're heading towards. And yep, the path to that may not always be clear. And, 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 Capricorn, once you do that, once you put that out there, have faith. 
that it will manifest. But also, I want to say, with that adrenaline and the excitement and everything else, knowing that it is, take that inspired action to make it happen. Okay, so you do what you need to do to make it happen. So, and you know, maybe once upon a time, you did place a, w a wish in that wishing well, and it came out not how you anticipated. But now you know things, and you have learned things, so you can do things differently now. Four of Pentacles. And we also have the Six of Swords. I'm just going to hold these up how they're laying on the table because the Four of Pentacles came out first. Okay, and this is quite interesting that she's heading away from the Four of Pentacles. Maybe this is about you actually heading away from from your fear. You know, from, from your fear of... Um, losing you know you might be headed towards this wishing well here to know that you're not going to lose because it's your internal guidance system right she's using her internal guidance system to guide her okay and she, off she goes she's in the moon you know the full moon again she can't see the journey ahead but she goes with surety and and with um, confidence that she's on the right path and she's doing the right thing and she's on her journey. Rescue. Okay. Wow. Check that out. Rescue. See, this is, again, I feel Capricorn. <sighs> it's like... waiting to be rescued but hiding in the cave and this person here is up looking for this this one here um but this one here is not out in the open um to be found so it's kind of like that expression again i feel um it's kind of like you want something and you're headed towards it <coughs> excuse me but You don't want to expose yourself. You want to keep things. Maybe this is you keeping things to yourself. And maybe this is about you needing to get away from that. You know? Um, because it's kind of like you may have made that wish or you're making the wish. But you've got to take the action to make it happen. You want to be rescued. I mean, you know, let's think of that in a very emotionally healthy way. Um, you want to be rescued, but you're not coming out of the cave. It's kind of like sitting at home, waiting for someone to knock on your door and you live happily ever after. It's not going to happen that way necessarily, right? <clears throat> so you need to need to take a different perspective. You need to see things. It's kind of like you need to see the bigger picture here. Because I don't think um, you are, to be honest. Goodness me, I need to clear my throat, won't be a moment. Okay, so, Rescue. One more card for Rescue for Capricorn, please. One more card for Rescue. Six of Wands. Yes, being acknowledged, being seen. Capricorn, this is what you need to do. You need to put yourself out there, okay? Goblins. Oh, oh, oh. Capricorn, this is, this is about... You know that, that kind of inner critic that sits there going, oh, you want to put yourself out there. Who's going to want you? Oh, you want to start up a business. You can't do that. Oh, you want to get a new job. No one's going to hire you. It's that. It's that, that, that ego shadow self there ready to put you off. Right? That's what that is. You can't see it because it's hiding in the shadows. Well, you can, because look at the beady little eyes over here, right? Hiding in the shadows, but it's there, always, always trying to put you off. Always trying to put you off, heading towards this, you know? So, yeah, 
Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. See, this is trying to put you off from getting here. The Ten of Pentacles, right? This is what you have the ability to achieve here, right? This is like financial stability. Yeah, it's it's stability for the family, right? Um, it's success. That's what you can head towards. But we can't do it hiding in here. One more card for goblins. Or okay, hang on. Capricorn. <laughs> I had two cards fall out and I was gonna put them back. Now I've seen what they are. I'm not putting them back. <laughs> the Emperor was the first one I saw here. Okay. And this guy here. He knows, he knows his, it, what he has. This is, you know, again, stability, achievement, right? He knows how to build his empire and he knows how to run it, okay? And this is what you can head towards. It's just quietening down these goblins here. And then last but not least, it's not the Ten of Cups, but it is the lovers, okay? And so, you know, look, if this isn't a relationship, this is about you loving you enough to listen to your internal guidance system, to trust yourself, to know that you have the ability to lead the way for your own path, Capricorn, because you 100% do. Okay, you've got it and you just have to believe in yourself, really, and, and quieten down this, okay, um, and, and kind of come out of this door and into this one here. Okay, Capricorn, I hope that helps you. Please share and um, comment down below how this relates to you, if it does. If it doesn't, then have a look at any other placements um, that you have, because those videos might be more suited for you. Um, and also, this could be happening over the next two weeks. So make sure you come back and have a look to see how it's applying over the next two weeks, okay? Because it might not um, relate right now. But it might be a few days, you know. So, yeah. Uh, okay, Capricorn. I'm going to love you and leave you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.